All right, please raise your hand if you have a question for Matt. We will start with Nate. Matt, uh, Lane said you guys had a little bit of a conversation immediately after the game. What kind of was said in that, in that little conversation you guys had? Uh, you know, that he had my back. And, uh, you know, that's all a quarterback in, a posi in my position today can ever ask for. All right, we'll go to Nick. Yeah, Matt Lane said he thought you were probably staring down receivers a little bit. Can you just kind of give us your evaluation of what you thought went wrong today? No, I mean, it was a different, it was a unique look that they had because, you know, they never had a loaded box once, meaning, you know, they never had a loaded box once. So the run game numbers were good and we struggled with getting the run game going. So we try to throw it and, you know, and do a drop eight. I'm not, no excuses for, for that performance at all. When you have a performance like that, you know, we're supposed to lose a game. And, uh, you know, that's what happened. And it wasn't, it, with the drop eight, the windows were smaller. Uh, you know, Arkansas did a good job of, of uh, tracing, or, yeah, tracing the ball back when, whenever the ball was out. And, uh, you know, having all 11 sets of eyes on you like that, you know, they're going to read it. So when I'm just looking at one defender, Keen, that hook player, that mic's flowing with them and uh, flowing into the window. So that's not a perfectly thrown ball. It's, it's getting tipped or intercepted. Had you ever seen that look on tape before? Uh, yeah, our defense ran it kind of, kind of. But, you know, they were, you know, that kind of defense, they kept everything in front of them. And they're, they'll, they'll make you pay, uh, take, take what they give you. They keep everything in front of them. Don't let any uh, – try to get double moves up, but they were just – you know, playing playing on top of it. Uh, like I said, the window the windows would be smaller, and um, you know, it, when I have a flat re when I have a like on that pick on that pick six, I had a flat read, and uh, I'm just looking at the flat because that that's my that's the key. But in the defense they ran, there's a there's a flat, and there's a guy over over top of them. It's not just the flat defender. There's also a the middle field safety that that's playing over there as well. So that was something that, you know, I, I messed up. We'll go back to Nate. Lane was saying, obviously teams kind of moving forward are going to take this film that Arkansas did and kind of try to emulate that. What do you do as a quarterback to kind of self scout and figure out those problems moving forward? Get back to work. Uh, do what I did to get, do what I did to get here. Uh, watch more film. I obviously wasn't watching enough. So you say you weren't watching it. Did you see a look like this from Arkansas before? Or was this something new for them? No, yeah, we, we knew they we knew what they were doing. I mean, we had to make adjustments because it wasn't exactly what they were showing on tape. And, you know, we did a poor job of adjusting. Nick, you go ahead. Falls back on me. Just from a confidence perspective, Matt, what does this game do for you? Is there Anything? Was there any point where you felt shaken during this, or did you always kind of go out thinking you would play the way you did the first three? You know, I I try not to look in the past of what I did. You know, it is humbling of what happened, but uh, it's time to go back to work and you know go harder than ever because what I did today was unacceptable. Did you address the team at all after the game? Uh, halftime, no sir. Not after the game. What did you say at halftime? You know, we're we're hurting ourselves pretty much. You know, we're not finishing blocks. I'm not getting to my full progression. I'm not checking down to the back. And, you know, we just weren't playing our football. When we're playing our football, we came in there thinking that this was going to be easy. Go ahead, Parrish. Matt, uh, uh, Kenny had been such a big part of what you guys were doing. I, I, I know that they were uh, – they had a lot of different looks for a lot of things, but what did you see specifically while, when you were looking for Kenny? Uh, what do you mean? Kenny Yaboa, what, I guess, what were they doing that kind of uh, took him away? He'd been uh, such a big him away from the pass game. I mean, they were just, they're dropping eight, rushing three, and they, you know, their linebackers do a good job of getting to their spots, getting where they need to be, you know, and uh, like I said, they're looking, they're looking at my eyes, so if I don't do a good job of manipulating their or even if I do do a good job of manipulating, I need I need to know that there's another another hole player there because you know drop like I said in a drop eight those all those guys are keeping everything in front of me and they're 
they got their eyes on me. So wherever my eyes go, they're going. Thanks. All right, last question, Nick. Matt, can you just explain what happened between you and Braylon on that fourth and goal in the first quarter? Uh, yeah, you know, he just came too close to me. You always tell him to, uh, <clears throat> on that specific play, go closer to the center. So, you know, stuff like that doesn't happen. But, you know, it is what it is. I should have held on to the ball hard, uh, had a better grip on the ball. All right, thanks, Matt. You're good to go.